Tonight's going to be really interesting because we've got Barry Gray, Janine Yamana, Sandy Hounsel, my son Tom, and my sister-in-law Jenny. And what, what Sandy and all these guys are going to do tonight is to try some soul rescue work. Mm -hmm. See what happens. See what happens. Well, yeah. Sandy, you want to start with the... Uh, Barry's going to be, be here. Yeah, then I'm going to talk us through a little meditation okay. and then Janine's going to say a few words and then yeah. Okay. okay, as we connect here together this night, we ask please that our guides, our teachers and our loved ones in the spirit will draw close to be with us. We also ask those that need help passing over to the other side also do so with the help of ourselves and our loved ones that come forward. We ask please that the Creator comes forward to be with us this night. As we work with love and with the truth. Amen. So if we can just start by focusing on building a pyramid of light just around this room. It's a four-sided pyramid. And just focus your mind on it so that we're all sitting inside it. And it's a very clear but got a beautiful golden hue around it. And this will help to not only just build the energy, but also to help that energy stay um, more constant so that those that need help moving over have got that lift, as it were, for the energy to take them forward and we don't disperse the energy in any way. So if we just place it around the seat and moving with the apex right up through to the centre of the, the roof. And as you focus your mind on it, just imagine that you're sitting inside of it. And inside, see that light getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And around the table, if we can build a column of white light, roughly in the centre of where we're all sitting. Going from the earth star chakra of this house right up through the apex of the pyramid. And imagining it going all the way up through the universe. Right up into the higher realms. And taking it all the way up into the source of all that is, into that light. And we ask that the universal source bring forward all those who have travelled very far to come here tonight, that are ready to leave this earth, no longer struggling, and to join their friends and family and find their way back home. So we ask for your divine blessing, your grace. Bringing forward their friends, families, their angels to assist as we remain very present and assist in the process. So did you want to say something, Janine? Just that we invert that pyramid that you put on mm -hmm. top and we invert it down into the earth so that we have the same coverage down into the centre of the earth so that we remain grounded. Mm -hmm. And the same light, everything exactly the same, but inverted so it goes down four sided. If anybody gets emotional or anything like that, then you just need to let that go, okay? Don't hold on to that because it's not yours. Just keep back out of it. So we're observing.
this whole ring of people that are standing all around us just waiting for their loved ones to come over. Is anyone aware of all the little children running around? The children and the Japanese people are the ones that I'm saying. Mm. The main ones are the Japanese. Where they've best been lost, they haven't known. They're still in distress, a lot of them are in distress. Jenny, the children running. Where are they from? I feel that the children have come for um, just to lighten the, the energy, to make it more... Um, to give those that are wanting to go over a, a sense of feeling safe and feeling peaceful about it. So the children are displaying that there's nothing for them to worry about. Okay, they're already passed over though, haven't they? Oh yes, they? just I mean, spiritual. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, they're already gone mm. to the other side. They're not earthbound though. No, no, no yeah, not at all. The same ones, yeah, yeah that's okay. Make just very sense. aware of people um, all really buried under rubble and trying to clamber out and find their way out. And there's a lot of um, souls walking along the top as well, searching for each other. And they haven't actually been able to find their loved ones. So these are that have died in that awful earthquake and still just walking around aimlessly lost, waiting for someone to come and um, tell them where they are. Well, it's the shock of it all. It was so fast, that's what the main thing is, is that we're just here one minute and now they're gone. Except that they didn't realise that they were gone. Quite a few of them are uh, just wandering because they didn't even realise they were gone. They couldn't understand where their homes went, where their families went. They haven't been able to find anyone. No, they're still looking. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. just looking. They're even, even though other parts of their families are around them, they're still just looking. Mm. Some of them too seem reluctant to leave. It's like they need permission. And that may be a cultural thing where... Yeah. They don't feel that they've got the either the choice or the ability to make their own decisions in that way. Um, and I feel maybe a need, even in Japan itself, there's still a need for some of the families to um, do their ritual, their prayer work for when their loved ones have moved on. And it's like some of them are still hanging around waiting for that to happen. Although it was done on a big scale, it's like they're waiting for that personalised touch. So although we're here at Kumara, you're saying you feel this is the people from Japan? Mm. Mm. Absolutely. There's just one woman in particular who's extremely stressed. We might have to work with her separately. There's others there as well. Can you see the one with the short hair? Like she's got really short hair, round face and it's just pulled back over to the side, but it's only about here, it's just, of course, straight, because Japanese hair is straight, but straight and straight to here. Jet Black, she's an older woman, she's middle-aged. I see one that's looking for her daughter, and then I see the daughter somewhere else, who's still carrying, like, um, either a baby in her arms, or it looks like a doll because it's not moving. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, she would and be And they were really pulled apart when the waves came through. She's quite stressed about it all. Can you can you feel her? She's standing. Are you there? What can you see? I think we'll let him snooze in a while. Yeah, okay. Okay. She in particular because she's the reason that she's or this particular one's not wanting to go is because she didn't realise that she was dead and then she doesn't realise, she can't see anyone, she can't see, no. you know when they're really traumatised and they can't see outside, it's like, she like, gets a bit angry too. Yeah, yeah it's like agitated. when people on the earth are depressed mm. and then, That's and they can't it. see outside of this, you know, and it's mm. the same thing when that happens and then so they die and it's very quick and then they can't see outside when they get angry like that, like you just said Jenny. That's what I always find with them anyway, that's with this one in particular. She's looking for her children. Mm, that's mm, right. The, yeah. the little girl's over, there's another little girl over here that's the one she's separated from and she's got this yeah. dead baby she in her She can't reach her. She can't reach her. 
So maybe what we could do is ask for like a chain link of friends from the spirit world and angels to just join together so that she's actually got like a almost like a rope that she can get to the to the light so she can find her way forward. Mm, just ask her, I think, if we just do that. Mm. I think if we just ask her just to turn around. She's just not turning around, you know, she's standing there and she's just facing the wrong way the whole time. See how they're behind her? Mm. Can you see that, Barry? They're behind her and she can't see them and she just needs to do She's so frantic, she's not... She's so know. frightened. Of yeah, she's just frantic. Is she young girl? Old no, girl? she's no. middle-aged. And she's so frightened about stepping into the light to go yeah. because that way if I go, I'm never going to be with my them. children yeah. again. But yeah, she doesn't realise they're already there. They're waiting for her. Mm -hmm. She feels she's been punished too. Mm. I feel that's also a cultural thing that yeah. it's almost like that they, you know, God's punishing them with this such devastation that they must have done something wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's so their fear of God as well. Sins. Mm. She feels punished. What have I done wrong? Yeah. Like that type of thing, Barry. Yes. Yeah. She feels she should be there to save them. Yeah. She can't handle the devastation of it all. Yeah, she's just totally. She just came straight in as soon as we before you even set the light. She was there. Okay, so if she just, I'm just going to talk with her again, or Barry, you might, you've got a good connection with her, just talk with her again, just ask her, just turn around. Just turn around, the light's already there, it's already set, just turn around, if you can't, we can do something else. Yeah, because I feel once she goes, then the rest of them Yeah, all well, the rest of the, yeah. They're all just standing there. Yeah, they're all just standing there waiting for her, but they're all behind her, see. Did you see her turn around, Barry? Or the other girls? She's slowly, slowly turning. It's just very slow. She's facing she's, us and she, she doesn't want to be punished. Turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she worried where she's going? Do you think the punishment is if I go there I'm going to be punished? It's, it's more, it's that, but it's also if she turns around she faces the light then she loses the family. She's not understanding that they're all going to be together if she turns around and faces the light. That's her misunderstanding. Are you getting that too? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't want to leave them. She's, no. She feels she's failed once. She doesn't want to fail again. again. Yeah, she couldn't save them. She was like that in life and she's like that in spirit. So you just need to turn around. There's an older lady also that's coming from the light talking to her now. She's just coming forward. It's her mother. She's just there. She's, mm. trying, she's trying to talk. She's got her arms around her shoulders now. Oh, she's so frightened. I know. She sort of just dives straight in. Can you see her mother as well, Sandy? Mm -hmm. I only see the back of her and she's, she's got this beautiful energy, almost like an angelic energy because she's got so much love for her and she's been over there a while and knows her way around but she's just taking her hands now and coaxing her in and it's, I can see her daughter already standing. Oh, she's calm, mm -hmm. yeah. you feel better now? Yeah. yeah. And she wants so much to go to get rid of this pain but she's so mm -hmm. frightened at the same time. When you see them, can they speak? Can, you, can they sense you? Telepathically, yeah. Mm. Sometimes, just when they get in that type of space, it's like it's seriously exactly the same as someone on the earth being depressed, and you know you can't get through to them. Yep. It's the same when they do this in any sort of a traumatic death when they just weren't meant. To, you know, when it was just a, a young person who just dies in a car crash, or somebody who who just dies suddenly and wasn't meant to, then they get in often get into that same position. Um, where it's like depression and you just can't reach them because they're so ah like this, you can't get through them. But you just keep the love going and once, once they pick that up, it calms them and then you can speak with them and then they can move. Mm. What's happening now, babe? She's much more relaxed. Mm. She's, yeah, I feel she's slowly moving, very slowly. She's been coaxed. Was asked, it seems to be lining up. Yeah. Mm. Line, it's like the, the school bell's been running. Yeah, they're yeah, all coming. coming. Mm. Yeah. She was just the first one that came. So I'm just going to send just a little bit more energy. I'm just going to change some of the energy of it, which I just do. I mean, like you can't. That okay, can you see her doing that? That's good. Yeah, that's better. Okay, because otherwise she's just going to be here all night or here all night. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I 
that's it, just the energy. It's just weaving the pathways of light for her to see where she needs to go. That's better. And she's just followed right yeah, up. Mm. Much better. And I said thank you at the same time. Mm. So when you've done that with your hands, what have you done? Um, weaved a web. Weaved a web. Of light and crystal mm. pathway, yeah. And so once you do that, because then they can join up, because they disconnect from spirit, so I just need to rejoin it. And we can sit here and talk to her all night. We can just do that. That's quicker. <laughs> or we can do some soul repair work. Yeah. Well, that's what that is. That's exactly that's what, what that is. That's what I was doing. It's slightly different yeah. to, to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, I'm sure you'll do the same thing, just different. I know. Yeah. I love that, that's why I like it. It's good that they have three different. Yeah. You're, that's that was the whole idea. With three different mediums, with three different ways of doing it, mm. and it's very interesting to get the comparative of how it goes. So yeah. Barry, you've been into a bit of a yeah, well, there was yeah. somebody just there. It wasn't the lady, it was somebody that was with her trying to get her to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So there. There's also, um, while I was there, I, I, the gent, there's also a man yeah, that's there. Her. Yeah, but also there's also another man that would have gone in the nuclear plant thingy, where that was. There's, there's because like he was standing there. He's the one that's he was been standing, horribly burned. Yeah, he was yeah, just yeah, standing back like watching. Mm -hmm. He was just standing back watching because I could see mm -hmm. him just standing behind him. And this, he was working on that other lady, so he's there too. He's, He's like he's curious. He's watching. He's curious too, because he's thinking, oh, you know, he knows that he needs to go too. But it's like I'm still not sure. I can see what happens to them first before. Oh really? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, they've, very, they've got a very. Um, I mean, I don't understand the Japanese culture in terms of life after death. But from what I was reading with all of these people here, there's a lot of fear associated with that. Um, as in, they're very used to being told how to think and told what to do, so they don't think outside. You know. The, they're afraid to think for themselves. So they wait for someone to tell them what to do. They wait for someone to show them what to do. And whilst they're all on that earth plane still, in that space, no one's telling them what to do. Yeah. And they're waiting and waiting, which is why they're a bit afraid to make a decision, because they're not sure um, you know, where that decision's going to take them. And their emotions too are held oh, in check yeah, a lot. Yeah. You know, their oh. emotions are really held in check, even on the earth. And so mm. it's the same thing when they go there and in such devastation, they don't know what to do. So what I like is you can all almost see the same thing yep. but from it's three different, different perspectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is which is really which good. Is good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost get the sense too, you know, especially with that culture. It's like they, you know, that the Egyptians would have to have coins or to take in no, the last Yeah, life. that's what they wait for someone it's to like do some doing, sort of yeah, ceremony. Yeah, like something like that. Before they could go mm. forward. Oh, really? It's almost as if they were waiting for that to happen so they could get not just the permission, but it's just something for them in the afterlife, as they call it, yeah. so that they can go and be happy where they want to be as well. Wow. It's yeah. almost as if they were waiting for that too, but it, the man's still there too. He's definitely standing there waiting to come mm. in if he wants to go. Where well, he can, if he yeah. wants now. Um, with him, it's like, um, oh, it's very cold, it's really cold, he's giving me the shakes too. But he's, he's standing there because he's uh, not just traumatised by what happened, but it's because, like, um, he feels he could prevent it, something from happening. Oh, so he's got a bit guilty. Yeah, it's like he's... Because he worked there, didn't he? Yeah, because I feel like mm. he's almost if he sees something happening and he could have got in to do something, but either he just didn't do it, we never got that moment to do it for some reason. So he's blaming himself for that because there's more than one person that was with him as well. So I feel that as well. So he's like he's quite worried that... Yeah, but the, he's also saying that with their culture, they take a lot of responsibility for their action, mm. which is why there's so much fear. Mm. And if he lets himself go, it's like, well, I'm going to be held responsible for all of these <coughs> deaths. And that's one of the other things that he can't handle. Right. Because I suppose in Japan, that if you do something wrong, you, I suppose there is a sense of punishment because there's all this shame and stuff around mm. it. Yeah. And they, I mean, I don't know what they call it the way they do it, but they do sort of, um, everyone's got to act in a certain way and be very, can't think of the word right now. Yeah. yeah, and there's other words around that too, but it's it's like this whole thing in happening in Japan was to really break that group consciousness up where they've got all of that fear-based thinking going on. And, and that's one of the good things that's going to come out of it. They're going to start thinking for themselves and yeah. start um, questioning their governments and start looking for more mm. different ways to live. I watched last night on um, television a show uh, or this whole morning or something, I can't remember when it was then, but it was on television yesterday and there was a woman there and 
and she was she's been trying to say about the nuclear power and that okay. for some time and no one was listening to her and now that this has happened yeah. Yeah. now she's gone from being the underdog to being oh, okay uh, okay we need to know more yeah. information so mm. what you're saying made sense with what i was listening to yesterday mm. as well 